Now we're going to look in this video at solving slightly more difficult equations. So in my first video I did simple equations, getting more complicated now. So with example A, we've got 5x plus 3 equals 3x plus 17. And really what you need to do here is get all the x's on the left hand side of the equation and all the numbers on the right hand side of the equation. So you're basically tidying it up. So let's first of all get all the x's on the left hand side and the way we're going to do that is by taking them away from the right hand side. So I'm literally just going to take away 3x from both sides because clearly that x will disappear. 5x minus 3x is 2x and then just keep all other numbers the same. Let's tidy up the right hand side. And now we need 2x by itself, so we need to get rid of that 3. How do we do that? Well, we need to take away 3 from both sides to get 2x equals 14. To get x by itself, we need to divide by 2 from both sides, and x is 7. And if you substitute those values back into the equation, you should get the same answer on both sides. So let's do that now. So 5x is 35 plus 3 is 38. Let's do the right-hand side of the equation. So 3 times 7 is 21 plus 17 equals 38. So we know for sure that our answer is correct. Okay, in example B, again, we're looking to get all our x's on the left-hand side and our numbers on the right-hand side. So we have a minus x on the right-hand side. How do we make that equal 0? Well, by adding x. So we need to add x to both sides to get 4x minus 11 equals 3. Let's move that minus, minus 11 across. So we need to get rid of it. How do you get to 0 from minus 11? Well, you add 11. Remember to do it to both sides. So 3 plus 11 is 14. And then to get x by itself, you want to divide both sides by 4. And so our final answer here is 14 over 4. In C, we're looking to do 17 plus x equals 12 plus 5x. Again, let's get all the x's on the left-hand side. So how do we get rid of the x's on the right-hand side? By taking them away. So what's 1x? Take away 5x. That is minus 4x. Keep everything the same. Let's get rid of the 17 on the left-hand side by taking it away, again from both sides. 12 takes 17 is minus 5. To get rid of the minus 4x, you divide both sides by minus 4. And remember, those negative minus signs cancel each other out, so your final answer here is 5 over 4. Looking at y's now, so we're going to get all our y's on the left hand side, so we need to take away 7y from both sides to get 3y minus 3 equals 4. To get that minus 3 removed from the left hand side, clearly we need to add 3 to make it equal 0. So 4 plus 3 is 7. 7 divided by 3 is your final answer. And then lastly, because I have space, let's do 5x minus 4 equals 1 plus 6x. We'll take away 6x from both sides to get minus x. To get rid of the minus 4 on the left hand side, we need to add 4. So minus x equals 5. We don't want to have our x ever being a minus, so we just reverse the signs. And double check the answer is right by doing a substitution back into the original equation. What's 5 times minus 5? Well, that's minus 25 minus 4 equals minus 29. Let's do the other side of the equation, so 1 plus 6 times minus 5. So that becomes 1 minus 30, which again is minus 29. My answer is right.